Hello everybody, the universe's biggest mistake here, Hiccup, at your service. So, I'd like to do a double gear, um, not double, but a multi, um, gear review demo, uh, personal gear anyways. Um, so I want to start with saying, let's start off with what it's all about, tools, tools and tools. Every guitarist needs them, every guitar could use them. Now, I'm going to be saying what I like about it and what I don't like about them. So, with each individual, um, with each individual tool. So, anyways, on with the review. <laughs> First thing we got is the Guitar Gizmo. It's spelled G-U-I-Z-M-O. You can see it's a nifty little thing. Shaped as a guitar. Um, one of the things it has is a flashlight, which when you screw it or turn it, it would, you know, it'd let, you know, it would work, but the batteries are dead, which you can easily take the batteries out this way because it comes out. I might need to get a little bit more closer for this video because these ones are relatively small. And you also got this. These other tools right here, which include a Phillips head screwdriver and a few Allen wrenches. And one little extra thing with this is, almost like Transformers, <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, it goes into some needle point pliers. So, uh, I think these might cut strings, I don't know. I bought this from my uh, from the guitar tech at my local music store. He got it for free. I bought it from for a dollar. It's a win-win. So one of the things I'm not exactly too fond of is the lack of tools. You know, it's, it's I wouldn't. It would be nice if this thing had at least a flat head on it. Every guitarist could use a flat head instead of just a Phillips head. But, you know, this is, but regardless, it is what it is. It does the job for some things and other things it doesn't. So, let's take a closer look at it for you all. Billy is not included because he's right underneath. As you can see, bring that out. Yeah, you can, he's like, all right. So, that's one, which I've just talked about. Now, the second one, this little thing, Cruise Tools. This one I got at my local music store. This one, I like, well, it has a lot, little bit more tools, as you can see. So, what it has, and this actually goes from thicker to thinnest, I'm going to be doing this um, it has a 4mm, a 3mm, and a few, let me see here, and a few other ones, including, but not limited to, a Phillips head screwdriver. So again, thickest, and let me just turn around so you can probably see the Phillips head a little bit more better. Okay, so, now, th now for the other side, now see this pulls out like that, and you have more tools. Now this one, this side, actually goes, um, actually is in, um, whatever, it, you know, I don't know, much, you know, the difference, or what they're called, or whatever, but this one, Again, from thickest to thinnest is a three by um three sixteenth, a uh, bigger flat, a bigger Phillips head, um, a one eighth, um, smaller one, and a small flat head. So, the thing I like about this is there's definitely more tools in it. And I actually can use it a little bit more 
for my guitars. Uh, the other thing I don't, one of the things I don't like is the size of the flathead. I think it could actually use a little bit more better of a flathead, a bigger one. So, um, other things this has, I think, is another wire cutter, not very good. But, you know, it does the job when you're on the go. Not recommended. Just like this one. Not exactly recommended for major guitar use. So, with these being shown. Now for the main one. Right. This is called Gig Main. Now, this is what I use for at home. Here we go. This is for what I use at home. Now, this I've actually put some extra things in for different reasons. Okay, let's see the contents. I'm going to show you, actually, let's show you what the inside looks like first, and then I'll show you what it originally came with. Alright, what it originally came with is the wire cutters. I don't know if these are the original wire cutters or not. I can't remember. Yeah, they are. Original wire cutters. These are really good. I recommend these quite well. This whole thing I recommend quite, quite well. Came with, um, it came with a different string liner. It came with its own red one, but that one unfortunately broke. So I just got a, uh, a random Jim Dunlop one. Put it in there. A screwdriver. Now this is really intriguing. It goes from a Phillips head. And as you can see, it comes right out. And switches to a flat head. And back to a Phillips head. I always have it on the Phillips head side. A flashlight. Which you can... Go from small to large. This one, of course, the um, L flashlights take, you know, well, most flashlights actually take batteries. So, um, you to get to the battery compartment, unscrew the bottom, and this takes a couple double, uh, not double, sorry, triple A batteries. So, like that, that's how you put the back, you know, how you change the batteries on it. Um, now, some of these things, I'm not exactly sure what they are or what they're exactly meant for. So, this little thing, I don't exactly know what this is for, what it's supposed to do, whatever. I don't know why. I don't know how to even find out. Um, and then we have... This little thing here, which I'm actually is really comes in handy for special electric, the ballpoint ones. Well, they're all, you know, most of them are ballpoint. Because if I need, and I was actually just using this, actually just yesterday. So, pop it in there like that. If I have to get in between a bridge so I can take a string out, or if I have to put a string in. You know, which I'll probably show my video, uh. A video of recording it anyway someday. Um, what else does it come with? It comes with like one or two other things. I don't know where they are at the moment. Um, one of the things, uh, some of the things that did not come with that I recommend putting in, and it has plenty of room to do so, is some needlepoint pliers, a monkey wrench, adjustable wrench. Um, now, this is a miniature screwdriver. You usually use it for glasses. I, on the other hand, use it for drilling small holes on a guitar. If I need to adjust something or add something, give or take, you know, it's not the very best. But And I also, and oh, by the way, this also came with um, some hex keys, some Allen wrenches. But you got, you know, some of them don't fit any of my guitars, a few of them do, so I put a large assortment of different, you know, hex keys in it, 
So, and pretty much all these hex keys, or at least most of them, fit a guitar of mine. Guitars of mine or somebody else's if I work on somebody else's. Um, I also put a tuner in there. I said I was just using this the other day. Because I usually use this one for home. Again, and actually one of the other things I really like about this is it zips right up. So some of the things I don't like about that is the string winder is good. I've had it for so long, but it broke, so I can't really say that's a, a bad thing about it. Well, you know, that's the thing. It works, the whole kit caboodle works pretty good. I can't complain about anything about it, come to think of it. You know, so regardless, those are my guitar tools and what I use and what I have on the go. So until next time, everybody, please stay tuned up. Keep it rocking.